So we're going to go over manning and we're going to go over tidal basin and set up how to do these missions the easiest. Now, since the devs have sent out an update, we went out and took a look to see what the turrets were doing. The turrets are super squishy now, very easy to take down. So this here is going to be a lot easier than what we expected from what it has been in the past. But the two bosses on manning, they are still uber tanky. But hey, that's fine because those guys, I mean, they've got a shield, they can shoot stuff back. So we found a weak spot on them to help make this stuff easier. So we're going to show that in this video to kind of help you guys understand where to shoot and how to successfully get through this mission. Now this is not speed run. I will repeat this again. This is not speed run tactics. This is stuff to help you get through as a team and move around successfully. So if you feel like this is, you know, not your play style, that's fine. Do it at your own way. But we've got some builds in here. We're going to show you what builds you want to have if you want it running like this. And it's completed in probably about an hour, hour and a half, uh, depending on how well your team does. So enjoy this video, ladies and gentlemen. So as for the builds, we have our skill build right here. It's going to be in the link in the descriptions. We also have the future uh, legendary healer DPS build. We have a focus or glass cannon that you prefer. Again, whichever one you prefer, you can also use companion to get that extra damage out because you'll be near each other. And then the foundry bulwark. Now that is for this mission. These are the five you want. Now while this is not manning or anything, I want to show y'all this because this is the busy little bee i want y'all to understand that the devs are probably going to be patching this so use this right now to your advantage until the devs fix this so you can see we're shooting hitting as many busy little bee shots as we can and i'm going to show you the damage numbers with the legendary booster build okay see my turret it's up there it's getting all the boosts and all that storm shooting certain targets we got our drone out we got the busy little bee stacked up i want y'all to watch There he goes, he overcharged earlier. All right, we're gonna get ready for it. All right, he's coming back. He overcharged. All right, we're gonna swap out, hit another bullet. There we go, make sure we got our full stack. Boom, shoot. 1.12 mil on a turret. So, knowing how to do that is vital. So, also knowing where to go to. So, on the very first one, if you're doing Manning, you want your DPS player back here. He's able to shoot over this way. There's also a spot right there to the left, right there, that you can use as a wall. Now, we have two skill builds, and we use a Y formation. Now, we have one turret on the left, one turret on the right. That kind of keeps them out. Now, you want to get them out there as far as possible, and then hit the hive out here as well. That keeps them aggroed away from you. This right here allows you to have the healer in the middle and heal up any player that you're going to use. In the back, the two to the side, it's pretty much simple. That's the what formation we want to keep. Now, on this section right here, as you can see, when you first come in, do not open this left door. Open the right door. Don't know why, but the right door seems a little bit easier than the left door. Uh, probably just because there's a lot of junk over there. But as you can see, we got the turrets as they try to come up. They're going to try to come up on the left side, so we got a turret right here on that. And another turret right there on the corners now that's to keep them as high as possible so they can shoot anything so we're going to put the hive right here to help boost those up and the dps player is basically going to play this wall the ads can't really shoot through that wall too easily they can at times but this here allows him to just go ahead and stack out and shoot anything now as they're coming up we can give them kims right here and pretty much it's that simple just stack up the damage that you can on your next area stop right about here don't go any further what you want to do is you want to put a hive down behind now what does this do this gives you a chance to overcharge do not overcharge right away what you'll do is you're going to run in here as a team and you're going to have your damage player come to right there right there your other player is going to be right here he's going to take out the chonga that's going to spawn right here i believe there's a medic as well now your other player, after you give this guy a Kim, shoot a Kim over here, he's gonna drop his turret and be right here. Now, control 
is going to be the first player to slowly move forward. Your damaged player is going to take out that Chonga. Now, while they're doing this, you're going to help this player move up to this next pillar right here, this little awning. Once that's done, these players are going to start moving up, just like so. On the left-hand side, he's going to move up to right about where I'm at, if he can. If not, because there's too many ads coming from that way, right there, he can stay back a little bit. But when you get a chance, you're going to have your other skill player pick up his stuff because you're going to have drones and all this kind of healing drones probably in here. He's going to either hold right here or he's going to move up because he's trying to kill those ads that are over there. So the best spot for him to get to is right here. As you can see where those ads are on the ground. He wants to get to right there. When that happens, have your damage player move up. Your damage player is going to come up right around through the middle and come over here to about where you're at. Once that's done, you get to the next area. You're going to have one skilled player here, the other one down there on the far side. Your damage player is going to take the high ground so he can shoot down on top of them. Toss your skills up on those walls. Get your hive right about here. That's going to allow it to hit. See, we hit all of their stuff except for the other player. Now you're going to have ads on your left, ads on your right, and then you're going to have ads drop in on the left, and then the Chonga is going to come back out here on the right. So when all that's said and done, you're going to come down to over here and you're going to set up because you're going to have a Chonga and a dog out over here. Now, up until that point, just kind of, you know, play it by ear, try to take out the hives, the healers first, always go for the healers and the medics. The medics, we call those guys the double chevrons and the healers or the, the other ones will be that. So when you're done, put all your skills on top of this this trash can just like so because that's going to get the chonga and the dog what you're going to end up doing is tossing your hive right here to help get those skills that extra 130 percent damage and you're going to run those other two players your skill players going to go down to that door and open that door when the damage player is ready now your damage player he's going to play right here right there where i shot that cam because he's going to shoot the Chonga. The Chonga is the first thing that has to go. Don't worry about the dog. Go for the Chonga. Once you kill him, the dog is easy pickings. Now, those turrets are going to help them. When they're done with the Chonga, have them delete their turrets and rush all the way down there to that right-hand side to the little cabana. Now, while they're doing that, they deconstruct their turrets. You deconstruct your hive. You give them the overcharge. That'll give them their skills back and they'll be in position to start killing stuff. While the healer is back here with the damage player killing the dog, once they're done with that, they both rush over there to that side. So, when you're done and you killed the dog, you're gonna be right here. That dog and Chonga are dead back here. You're both gonna rush into those guys. So, just like so, this is also where the same route these guys will take. Except instead of going behind the cabana, they're going to go straight to their spots. So when you come in as a healer, you would toss your hive to the far right guy. And then the healer is going to come back here, drop a chem so this damage player can kill these snipers back there. The snipers are back there where 10 men is. So once those are dead, you're going to have choppers and other stuff come in. So this player is going to be right here, killing out, trying to find uh, ads. The other player will be right here where I'm at, 10 mans down where the snipers are at, and you're just killing ads. Now, the turrets are going to be up on those little pillars like this. See them right up there? And then you're going to have, once you kill all the ads and the dogs, the chongas are going to come out behind you. So when that happens, you're going to come over here, take cover, and the damage player is going to kill the chonga and the ads behind. Now, your other people will be right over here, probably kill them with that turret because it's high enough, it can see the whole area. And then this player can actually take his turret off of that and put it right beside him because all the ads are going to be coming to your left. And that's pretty much it for that section right there. Now, once you've come over here, do not jump that wall until every player is ready. I cannot stress this enough. Make sure you have some sort of healer because once you drop into this area from that wall, you are stuck here. You can't fight much because you're just stuck here. So put your turrets on that rock and that rock if possible if not just lay them on the ground like so get your hive out here to give them that extra damage now the damaged player he's going to play right here by the ammo box 
He's going to shoot from the right to the left. That's how he always plays, from the right to the left. Now, if you happen to get dogs, they will try to push in here uh, like crazy with uh, the shotgunners. They will try to rush in. So your best thing to do is just have your other players play back here on the back and have your healer just keep these guys alive. Let them shoot off on the left and work their way right. That way you kind of funnel them straight ahead. You just funnel all the ads straight ahead as much as possible. Now there's a lot of loot boxes and stuff up to this point, so go ahead and make sure you get all your loot. But you're gonna have your damage player play back for a few seconds, not for very long. But as you can see, we've got all the players in positions. We've got the turrets up on as high as we can get them because this is a tiered area. You wanna get them up as high as possible. So put them up on these posts up here. So whichever player you normally have go left, have them put up there, the other one on the right, on that one. Right here, you're gonna fight for a little while. You're gonna have the damage player try to kill the ads that are trying to go up because once you kill enough of them, they're gonna come out of that door. So keep your turrets and stuff right there where they're at because they're coming out of this door. Once you've killed enough of them and they start falling back because that's what's gonna end up happening, then you're gonna push up. So one of your players, once these are dead that came out of this door, be careful you just want to push up slowly so your next player would come up to probably right there because there's another door so right about here and you can see where they're at you're just gonna leapfrog it up slowly leapfrog it up do not try to just rush unless you know where they're coming out and you're doing speed runs if you're not doing speed run stuff take your time get a player right here you know leapfrog it up get another player up there after they've killed the ads leapfrog it up slowly but surely now once you're on this part you can all go at the same time because no more ads should be coming out behind you like on these doors right here you should be fine but if they do at least you have <coughs> players in positions for when they do but what you'll do is both players that take the left and the right they're going to go up on the left and the right and then you're going to have your dps guy go up on that left hand side not the right he's first going to start on the left now what they're going to end up doing like this coming up taking positions and trying to slowly inch forward your dps player is using this right here to keep those guys off that turret that's up ahead that way your other players can move up now as you can see control he's going to come and hold this cul-de-sac that's what we call it he's going to toss his skill up there on that piece right there so when they try to rush in they're just getting beamed by his skill you're going to fall back once he gets it up there into that cul-de-sac. They have another one on the left side as well. Toss your skill right up there onto that and then fall back to the cul-de-sac. It's very important you get your skills in those positions because there's a lot of drones and other things. The closer you can get them to the ads, the more aggro the turrets take and not you. So if you can get the hive up here to heal them, that's fine because they're going to be on that turret. Your DPS player's main job is to get them off that turret. That's it. Kill them. There's, I think, one yellow sniper, and that's really about the only snipers I see, but there's a lot of drones. So when he gets those guys in the position, your DPS falls back to the right side because it gives him a straight shot at those ads up there and onto the turret. It makes it a lot easier to be on this right side than the left side. And that's pretty much it. Just you got to be careful because there's a few ads that also come out from this top right hand side that you got to be careful. I think there's like two waves sometimes that come out of this door right here. Now, when the last wave comes out, you're going to see a Chonga and he's going to come out of that door right there. That's when it's the last wave. So watch that door for the Chonga. Now, in this section right here, this is pretty much where you fight. You fight in this Alamo is what we call it. Be careful, sometimes some bullets do come through this window. Don't know why, they shouldn't, but they do. Now you can fall back in here and go upstairs if you need to for dire situations, but your main thing is to fight out, the, like have your turrets out here. And just be careful. Do not shoot this little red box right away. Open the doors first when you're ready and then shoot that box so that way that person does not get shot. Now, as you can see these tables right here in front of me, you want to get one skill right up there on that table. The other one, if you can get it on that little box on the right, if not, put it right here where I'm at or put it on this box right here. That, or even if you can get it up on there. And that allows it to get the highest ground to shoot down on ads and stuff like that. 
This also allows this healer to toss his hive right outside the door and give it, you know, the most amount of damage for the turrets and stuff like that possible. But it's going to be a pain in the ass to try to kill adds because this stuff's in the way and you got to shoot through it as a DPS guy. So you need the DPS, not just skills. You do need DPS on this spot right here. It's pretty much vital. Now on this next area, before we go showing you what to do, this is why your skills are dying. A lot of people don't know about this until they get over here, but this EMP is shutting off your skills. You can shoot it from back there where you start, but it is still a pain in the ass to shoot. So you need someone with a spotter piece to see where it's at or a drone of some sort that can spot. So as you can see, you fall back behind there, you start off right here, and you can see it way over there barely see it but it's over there so you can shoot it from back here or you can shoot it from right here before you go back your best thing to do is fall back behind the train before you do it as you can see he can shoot it and he's killed it from back there behind the train so it is doable so what you would do is you come over here get as far out as you can and shoot the damn thing i think it's yeah right over there and that's pretty much it once you do that you can throw seeker balls do whatever drones whatever you want makes it so much easier but you're just fighting from right behind here you basically toss your hive out toss your skills out do whatever just give them the extra damage shoot what you can and kill as much and as fast as possible now on this next area you have the same thing it's an emp right here but you cannot kill this thing very easily as you see all that craps in front of me from where those guys are at you can't shoot it you can't shoot it off with drones. The only way to kill it is to come over here on this side where I'm going to right now, right here, and shoot it. Right down there. That's where it's at. Literally right there. Right in the center of my circle. If you can get three shots on it and kill it from right here, great. But the moment you open this door, you're going to get aggroed as soon as you start walking out that way. So we want to stay in here because they shoot a lot of fucking grenades. We do not want to take those grenades. Okay? Now... Again, not speedrun tactics, but if you can't get that EMP off, you want to put your turrets right here and like the hive right here. So that way it keeps your turrets from getting shut off side by side. This allows them to get the most damage out from right up here. Okay. Now, ads will push up, but if, again, it's on you to make sure you go for the healers and the medic boxes or the medic players. And DPS will fight from right here, shooting from the right to the left, just like he is right behind me. That's basically what you do in this area. If you cannot get that EMP, don't worry about it. Just get the damage you can from your turrets. As for the other stuff, uh, you can put on jammer pulses to shut off uh, their healer boxes and stuff like that. Now right here, you're literally two steps away from being at the end. So as you can see, we got all of our stuff in the proper places. One turret way up high that can shoot down. It can shoot to the right and straight ahead and to the left. You got another one to the far left so as it runs they run by it's going to shoot them in the ass now 10 man is back here we have switch right here to take out the damage but they're the skill builds the dps is going to fall back on this right side now the right side he can shoot straight down where they're at okay they're right there this right here gives him perfect cover from grenades they cannot get the grenades through this so this allows him to shoot through but they can't shoot him now, the hive will go to those guys, and then you're going to shoot him, Kims. These guys can literally stay down using tech support, uh, glass cannon, and just let the skills go to town. Now, as you do, they're going to be rushers. They all try to come to the right because you got everything on the left and in the center. So the rushers are going to rush to the right, making it fast and easy to kill them because they have an opening. So this is going to make this area speed by even faster. Now, this last area, we've had a few hiccups and stuff like that before. What we've found is it's just best to put your turret right here and put another turret up on top of this grate right here and just hold the line. Now, the reason why I say that is because you have ads that are going to come down below, which you cannot shoot at times because if you pop your head up, you got something else shooting you. So the best thing to do is just hold the line right here. If you can get your turret up there, that's fine. This player plays on this side and shoots down with this turret right here and then you have your dps player basically just coming up and shooting over the wall killing stuff as much as he can as fast as he can you're going to have a few chopper waves drop in right over there and you're going to have ads trying to come up from underneath 
So just do the best damage that you can for right now. Um, and again, just watch out. The choppers drop right about over there. Okay. I think it's about two, two waves of choppers, maybe a third wave of choppers. And that's pretty much it. Now the key to this guy right here that we found is get a foundry bulwark and kite him. They got two of them. Just use this to kite him as much as possible. Have your other players shoot him square up the tailpipe. Use a crossbow to crack his armor just like that. And you see it's a lot easier. As many crossbow bolts as he can get, it's important. Now if you watch right here, his armor's hurt really bad. He should crack here in a second on this one right here. There it goes. Now shooting him right up the ass works. To do so, again, foundry bulwark. I have a build like this in my videos. It will be in the link in the descriptions. Go ahead and make this build. It literally will survive anything in here. But do not use this build until the very last. Okay? I can't stress this enough. A lot of people like to run it way up ahead of time. Now, we have a healer build on to try to keep us alive because, again, there's a lot of damage. A lot of grenades going to be coming. So, having that healer does help out. Having two DPS builds that you prefer, focus or glass, is fine. But one of them is going to come over here on the right hand side, shoot and kill adds. Preferably your focus player would come to the right. Your glass cannon person will be over here on the left hand side. He's basically going to kill everything that comes out of that door and just below him. Now you're going to have adds way out there in the far. When that happens, just have someone come up here, the focus build, shoot them. You can have your tank go down here and hold them off. But on the second wave, you're going to have a lot of dogs. And dogs are going to start coming from that door right there. That's the first door they start coming out of. So have your foundry bulwark come over here and take the aggro away from the dogs. Now have one person with a jammer pulse to shut the dogs off. That's important. Make sure you have that. The healer just keeps the hive right here in the middle and keeps everybody alive as much as possible. This is your Alamo right here, right in the center. Now, once you've started killing enough adds, you can start to go down in the bottom and starting to kill them because once the bosses come out right here, you're just gonna have them go down this left-hand side, work their way around the wall, kill this Chonga that comes out of that door, or maybe he comes out of this door, I can't remember which door, but one of those two doors. Once that Chonga is dead, start having all the other players go kill everything while you kite the boss. There's gonna be two bosses and they will come to this Foundry Bulwark player. So this is the main spot. Just hold this line. Do not let them go anywhere else. Whoever the foundry is needs to circle those guys around and circle them around. And that's pretty much it for this. It's so much easier than it looks. So here we are at the boxes, ladies and gentlemen. The chains that the devs change on these. And look how fast it goes down even with one person being a tank. Now at the very beginning of this, it's fairly simple. If you're gonna run the same kind of setup, two skills, we're gonna put one up here on this part, one over here on this part. The hive will be able to reach both of those, keep those alive. You're gonna have a chonger right about there. And you'll have your DPS player playing back here. This is gonna allow y'all to pretty much just keep them off on that left side. Now once you kill enough of them and the the Chonga's down, have your DPS player and your healer come right over here so the DPS can start shooting straight that way. That's going to force those guys on that left hand side to just take cover as fast as they can. It's going to be a lot faster if you do this and he can use this here to block some shots and keep himself alive. Now when you get to this spot you will have one of your skill builds go all the way but you do not want to cross this line until everybody's ready. Right here where we're standing, do not cross that line. Now, we'll have one player go all the way over there. There's a little tractor right about where my hive is at right now. He's going to put his skill up there on top of the tractor. Your DPS player will come up right behind him. He'll stop right there at that box. And then your other skill player will stop right about here and put his skills up on this left-hand side to try to get some damage out. Now, you want to run it just like this. You're going to have one skill player run out first your DPS, your medic, and then the other player will come up behind. This will allow those players to get into position at the equal time that they need to, as you see like this. 
Now we've got one skill up on here which shoots straight down. It's got the highest advantage point. And then the other player can play behind this box or right over there. Your skill player will play right there because there's going to be chongas and stuff that drop right there. Most of this is going to be dogs and you'll have one chonga come out from right there at the bottom. But again, the other ads after you kill him, the second drop will be right here. And you're going to have a drop of ads right here. So when they start dropping right where I'm standing, this player needs to fall back. Do not freak out. Just have your DPS person shoot them down. And as soon as they're done, have them focus right over here on this set of groups. And that's pretty much it. But when you're done, do not open that door until everybody is ready. I cannot stress that one enough. Make sure all your team is ready. Because once you open it, you're aggroed. Now, once you open this door and you've been fully aggroed, all you're going to do is have your two skill players put their turrets there and there. It's fairly simple, fairly easy. Just toss your hive, give those skills that extra damage, put it right about there, and then just let the skills kind of go to town. So tech support, again, is a very important piece. Now, your damage player will be back here shooting as anything tries to rush up. There will be a one changa, and then you'll have a bunch of rushers. So right here hold this line do not back off just hold it it's fast it's simple fairly easy you'll kill them all out you might have a few wally tanks come up right here that's fine just throw some emp grenades and it'll shut them off now when you're on this spot right here this here can be wherever you really want to play we typically play right here and we get one turret up on this which gives a good high ground and if they were to push up on here it kind of pushes them back so it kind of forces them out on this right side. So this player is going to take a lot of damage on this side. You can even put the turret right here at this corner versus up there. The other players, they're going to be kind of in their spots as you see right here. He's going to have his turret on this wall, which can shoot straight down on anything that's coming up to the staircase. It can hit those snipers way back there. And that kind of makes it easier for this player because it will take some of the aggro off of him from the snipers. So he can use this here to block the grenades. But he can also shoot through there, but he cannot avoid the sniper shot. So he's got to play careful with that one. Now, once you're at this spot right here, this is fairly simple, but a little bit complicated at the same time. What you need to do is come over here to the left-hand side with your DPS and your skill player and take out those turrets. Your other two are going to rush up here on this right-hand side. You're going to give the overwatch while those two down there push towards the left side. Now, the first one switch, he'll be right there to kill that box right there. That's easy. Once he kills that, he's going to push over to where that turret is underneath and try to shoot. Now, he may have to go far left to kill some of the ads to back them off. That's fine. But once you kill this box, the best spot to kill the other two boxes, which is right there, is going to be right here at this spot. So you can kill the box using his shield and shooting through because you see you can't kill the other box from over here. So you have to come to here to shoot that box over there. So that's how you get both of them is right here at this spot. Now, while they're killing these boxes and killing those ads, the two players on your right hand side are going to jump over that top, rush up to here, and you may have one or two ads. That's fine. Don't freak out. Work as a team and push all the way through the building and when you get over here come into cover put your skills down now you can put your skill right here if it falls which typically happens a lot you can also toss it over here on that corner which would give good overwatch as well and then just kind of hold your side now the other two when you're done with that they're going to push up into here you can have your dps player play in this window so he can switch between side to side have your other skill player over here on this side. Put his turret up on this corner to watch that side. Do not leave your sides. Hold the left and hold the right because you're going to have tons of ads. Now, sometimes this will glitch down here. See, the doors are closed. Normally, they're open. If you happen to get the doors that are closed, this here becomes a great Alamo because the ads cannot come through this door. This is like a hold down spot. As soon as they come in, they're, they're pretty much screwed. So... If something bad doesn't happen like that because you don't have good players with good builds, that's a great option to run down here if the doors are shut. If they're open, again, you're really screwed. So just kill ads left and right hand side. Now before you get to this next spot right here, there's a wall that you have to jump over. Hold off, make sure your entire team is ready. Do not jump that 
little barrier up there and jump down until everybody's ready because once you do this gate will open and the ads are going to aggro now i'm going to show you where you need to first go to for certain spots so your first skill build would probably be right about here now he's going to toss his skill out there as far as he can to get some kills because there's going to be a chonga and some dogs your dps player will play right here killing off as much as he can while your other skill build will come in on this left hand side so you can see where I'm running to. He's going to take cover behind this log where the chem launchers can hit him because your medic is going to be right there shooting chems towards him. Makes it easier for him to do that. And he'll toss his turret right about there. Now that turret's not going to get the hive right away. As you can see, I might be able to reach it out because what we want to do is I'm going to demonstrate how far this reach is because it's very hard. So I would toss it as far as I possibly can without taking much damage. And it may or may not reach that corner at times. And you can see he's going to be right over there. And you see it barely touches that area. It can touch it, but sometimes you may not. So that turret may not have anything. But that's not the key thing. Once you kill all these ads in this area, push up to this area. Okay? Push the advantage. Push in on them. Do not hesitate. And get your skill player that was right there at that white barrier there. Put your medic right here. And then when this person can move up on the left side, have that person that moved up on the left by the log put his turret up on this truck and hide behind here. The ads are going to come out right where Tin Man's at right now. Now, that's important to know because once they come out, your DPS player needs to move up. So he's going to move up into a certain spot, and we'll show you where here in a second. Uh, it should be He should be able to move up to right about here. This will allow him to shoot anything off of his right and work his way left. Now, once he kills all those ads that are in there, this is where it's going to get a little tricky. You're going to come over here, take him, the guy, uh, Tin Man, who's our left player. He's going to come over here. You're going to have your DPS player playing right about where I'm standing, shooting ads that are coming out of that gate. Because everything's going to start coming straight forward. So your DPS player will be right here, shooting everything that comes out of that gate. Your left hand guy is going to jump up on this side, put his turret up here, up high. And then what he can do at times is use this wall, or the underneath here, which stops the grenades, use this here to shoot what comes straight forward and hold that left side. That way they can't flank. Your other player with the skill build on the right, he'll go over to the right wherever he can, and you'll have your healer, which is me right here, which can heal anybody and everybody. Now your right hand side skills he'll put him their stuff right here to hold a line and just pretty much anywhere he can move around because right where switch is at there's a turret up there so that you want to try to have your dps player and your skills focusing on that turret get those players or npcs off of there and as fast as possible watch for medics watch for healers take them out first it makes it a lot easier on every part of this and then pretty much just watch that side because they're going to keep jumping over from the uh, gate to the wall. Gate to the wall. Now, once you've completed that spot and you come to here, what you're going to do is, as you can see, right over there, that's where they're going to spawn. So just toss your stuff right up on this box right here. Now, if you're able to, and we were able to, if you can get one player to put his turret like Artie's doing, tossing it up there at that corner, that's also good because that'll give a shot straight down at anything that tries to take cover on that left side. But right here, you can see your turret would be able to shoot straight down that line. That's where they're going to be spawning. Now, once you've killed enough of them, it, you'll be able to start moving around. Now, as for your DPS player, he's going to be back over there where you first started by that box, kind of like right over here where Tim Man's at. But once you kill enough of them, have one of your left-hand players push over here to this left-hand side and get up into this spot and start killing ads on the left that'll allow the person on the right to move up over here to this right hand side where his turrets at and then your damage player can start moving up into the middle now once you get these guys your skill players into position all you gotta do is start killing as enough of those ads and then the chopper's gonna land behind you do not freak out just have your damage player and your healer come back like this because it's only three of them I think it's a rusher a grenadier and an assault drops right there and that's pretty much it just have him kill those guys keep him alive and let those guys back there just take care of the ads with their skills that way you're pressing the advantage on the enemy and not them pressing the advantage on you 
Now, once you're at this spot right here, this can get a little hairy because there's no real cover or anything. So right here, you're going to basically just kind of toss your skills on top of this car. Now, if you're able to and you can do it, sometimes you can put your turret up there or even up on that light post. It takes a little bit of practice, but if you can get up there, it's great because it can shoot down on anything and everything. But if not, just put your skills right here on top of this car and just let those things go to town. Now, you're going to have ads dropping right over there, a bunch of heel boxes. Try to kill those as fast as possible. There's going to be another chopper that drops a chonga right here. So just be wary of this area because the only spot for your damage player to get any damage is right where Switch is standing. And they're going to lob a shit ton of grenades right here. And they're going to have a lot of rushers too. You can see the rushers right here. They're going to just send them in right here. So he has no real cover. So he's got to use the shield piece to try to shoot around this corner, try to get those shots. But if he can, try to get the uh, medics and the healers and stuff like that out of the way first. and makes this a lot easier. So I had an error uh so i'm just going to talk about this one because the clip got deleted for some reason or won't download properly but on the next area it's fairly simple go in the left go in the right kill what you can that's up on the catwalk now when you kill what's up on the catwalk you'll push in to there take the catwalk over once you've taken the catwalk over watch your radar there will be ads and a chonga that will spawn behind you once that happens, pick up all your skills, turn around, kill them, and then pick your stuff up and turn around one more time. The final ads will be coming out. Now, where you want your skills at after you take the catwalk, put your skill player on the left, on the, on the left-hand side of the catwalk. Your other skill player will take the center of the catwalk and have your DPS player play in the building to the right. Basically, that's the kind of setup you want to do and work that one out. Sorry, the clip got messed up, but we got the other one, the last part. Now, on this here, this is going to be your final part. This is a lot easier than what it looks like, but you do not want to stay in here. Now, what you'll do is you're going to toss one decoy out here, right about there. That's going to take the aggro for the ads, okay? Over here, you're going to have two players playing with jammer pulses. Now, you want to sync those to where they're timed rightly. The first jammer pulse will come out here and shut down said turret. And when they shut those down, you're going to rush back over here to this side. Now, you need a healer and three skill builds right now. No speed run tactics or anything, but right where I'm standing, this is where you fight. Right inside this box. This actually makes it a lot easier. Now you see they're putting their skills in position. You want one up here to take care of these ads on the front. You want one up here to take care of any ads that get close. And then you want another one right here. This turret right here is probably the, needs to be your strongest turret skill build right here. Because this turret is going to take care of any of these ads that come out just behind me at these doors. That's where they're going to be coming from. Now, you don't need to kill that box. You can use that to use uh, your combined arms, but your better thing is still just to use tech support. Let it get those kills and then slowly work your way down. And you see we got a lot of loot everywhere because these ads are literally just pressing this advantage. Now, where they come out at is right up there. They mainly come up there and these four doors. So that's where you want to come out and kill them. Now, you don't need to put anything any farther than this. These turrets and stuff will basically hold everything off. Again, tech support. Now, the healer will keep everybody alive, and then tossing an artificer hive to give those skills that extra damage is pretty much important. So that way, it just it's like the players themselves are doing the damage because it's the skills. So use that to your advantage unless someone comes up with a better speed run type tactic or anything. Because those turrets that are out there can literally just destroy a player. So while you're fighting here, you can shoot this again and get your combined arms rather than tech support. But if you kill that thing, then you have nothing else to shoot. Then you waste damage. So just using tech support is better. Now once you're done, kill that box. Go to all DPS. And then come over here. You can see where my loot is. You're going to kill this box right over here. Just switch everything over to a red DPS, Bullet Kings, whatever you want to use. It'll kill it down very fast now that the devs have fixed it. And then once you've killed that turret, rush over here. You're going to see where my loot is. That's where everybody can stand away from that turret and shoot the turret down. It's very easy, very simple. So I hope this helps y'all.